He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. He loves me not. He loves me. <sighs> he sis, what have these poor flowers done to you? You've single-handedly taken down the half of Father's garden in the last two days. Oh, Violet, it's you. What is the matter with you? All you've been doing lately is plucking petals on this deserted rooftop and looking all mopey. Are you sick? It could be called a type of sickness, I suppose. Hmm. Oh goodness! Oh, for the love of Cupid, we're supposed to be doing this to them. Not the other way around. You've never fallen in love before, Violet. You'll understand someday. Love, it consumes us all. It's about that human again, isn't it? Ah, <sighs> everything seems to be. <clears throat> you do realize you can just shoot him with one of your arrows, right? Get him to fall head over heels for you. I know, Violet. I just—it feels like cheating now. Cheap. I'd rather he didn't know I exist than magically force him to love me. Sis, are you sure you're all right? We we are Cupid's daughters. It doesn't make any sense. Surely you can hear yourself talking. Look, he's working that little shop down there right now. So kind to all the humans who visit. So oblivious to the world outside. I... I wish I could blend in sometimes. T to talk to him. Why can't you? Forget it. I'll only end up stammering gibberish. I don't think I could live with myself if my wings suddenly spread out from under my jack in front of all those humans. That's what you're worried about? It doesn't matter, okay? Besides, I need to tend to Grandma's doves. They're starting to get a little unhinged from drawing her chariot in the sky all day. You better not call the goddess of love Grandma to her face. Venus will probably turn you into one of those doves. You'd like that, wouldn't you? Your words, sis, not mine. Whatever. Everyone's working overtime with Valentine's Day just around the corner. Making love blossom among the mortals falls to us. You should go home and brush up on your archery skills. We'll need them later. I can shoot my love arrows just fine. All I'm saying is, if you struck a human's heart with one and that of the hogs with the other, things will get complicated. That never happened. And you know it. Love may be blind, but I'm not. Just how much of a loser do you think I am? I'll tell you that later, my dear Violet. For now, I must busy myself with work lest I start thinking of him again. <sighs> Although I'll end up doing that anyway. Take care out there, sis. Fly safe. Hmm. Down there in that little coffee shop, huh? My sister has been stalking him from this rooftop every day for the last few weeks. Just what is it about him? What makes him so special? Hmm. This? This is much too interesting for me to pass up. No, I must investigate this right away. I'm all curious now. Just you wait, human. If my sister won't make a move, then I most definitely will. Hi there. Oh, did I startle you? I'm so sorry. People I say somehow keep sneaking up on them when they least expect it. Like feelings of love. <laughs> Why, yes. This is my first time here. I don't usually frequent such places, but I must say, I like the vibe inside this one. Well, it also helps they got someone so cute to man in the counter. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's alright. I don't bite. I do drink, though. Coffee, I mean. Hey, you work here, don't you? Ah, barista! How wonderful. Can I order a cup? Mmm, let's see. Wow, 
These look really fancy. I haven't been in a human shop in so long. Hmm? No, I said I haven't been to a coffee shop in so long. Uh, that one. Yeah, I'll have a lot. Oh, it's called a latte? <laughs> um, uh, well, silly me. Ignorant of the intricacies of mortal language. I said mortal. In that, you know, you know, languages die out after a while. Like Latin, for one. Yeah, I'll just wait over here while you make it. Well, at least he wasn't a jerk about it. A little slow to pick up on what kind of creature I am, but seems nice enough. Is this the type of boy you like, sis? One who'll correct your pronunciation and make you instant coffee? Oh, you made it? Already? Huh. You're fast. This is... This is really good. Oh my gosh, you're almost magical yourself. How did you make this? Oh. You use the coffee machine? Well, you use the coffee machine really well. Not everyone could do it like you do. Say, would you like to join me? Well, yeah. I came alone and I'd love some company. Aw, oh, come on. Can't you get somebody else to cover your shift? Please. Just for a few minutes. You're not going to make a young woman sit all by herself in a cafe during Valentine's Week now, are you? Please? Pretty, pretty oopsie daisy, please? <laughs> Yay! I knew chivalry wasn't dead. Come on, let's go sit over there. So, you're a barista here. A part-time barista? That sounds really cool. What do you do in your spare time, then? Save the world from dragons or something? I'm closer than I might think. How so? Because you've played Skyrim? <laughs> oh, wow. You're... you're good. Oh, video games are popular everywhere. Skyrim especially. Trust me, it's famous amongst both humans and celestial beings. Not that I know anything about the latter, of course. This latte is really nice. How long have you been working here? I see. Why this place, though? Oh. Your parents used to bring you here all the time when you were a kid. Before they... went their separate ways. I'm sorry. People can fall out of love sometimes. Human relationships are frustratingly complicated. I am glad this place holds fond memories from when the three of you were a family. Thank you for sharing this with me. You're genuine and kind. Some may take advantage of that, but I... I find it rather endearing, actually. I'm being serious. Look around us. There are quite a few happy couples in here today. Your coffee brings people joy. Yeah, you and your coffee machine could totally take on the world by yourselves. <laughs> Tell me, though, what do you think about love? Too broad of a question, huh? Well, I meant what's the first thing that comes to your mind when you hear the word. 
Really? I see. Do you think love can happen spontaneously between two strangers? A love at first sight, as it were? Huh, you sound like my dad. He makes bad puns, too. The whole thing about love being blind, it comes from him. Because he's blind. And he likes shooting arrows. Now, normally a blind person shooting arrows at a random in a crowd would be dangerous. But his arrows have helped many people find their soulmates. He works dutifully to bring people together, especially around this time of year. Because he's Cupid, silly, and I'm his daughter, Violet. Of course I can say with a straight face. Here, I'll show you. What am I doing? Well, love is in the air thanks to my magic, so I doubt the other humans will notice. Just give me a sec. Oh, don't look surprised. These are real. I like my wings, but they get all cramped up if I keep them folded for long. There really is no need to be alarmed. I won't hurt you. You see, my dear elder sister is madly in love with you. A major crush, if there ever was one. But she's too much of a wimp to come out and say it. I came here to see the human she became so enamored with. And I think I understand now. You're just her type. You! What are you doing here, Violet? Hey, sis! I was just telling this cutie that he's your type. He's nice and gentle and delightfully shy. Absolutely adorable. I think you two will- Why? Why do you always have to do this? Do what? Sabotage my plans! You always want what I want. You've been like this ever since we were kids. Why couldn't you just for once let me have this? Have what? Pine away in your loneliness and destroying every daisy in the world because you can't confess to your crush? Yes! Oh. Well, then I shouldn't have told the human how much you like him. Uh, um, you... You did what? Uh, hi. Um, about what she said. Look, I am so, so sorry you had to put up with my bratty, spoiled idiot of a sister for so long. We'll get out of your hair immediately. Please think nothing of this. Hey, Violet, let's... What? You want to know if it's true? My... liking you? Uh... Well... I... I really didn't expect it to happen this way. Or to happen at all. Um... Where... Where do I even begin? Don't mind me. I'll just slink into a corner. It's... It's true. I've been watching you for quite a while now, my love. I really didn't mean to stalk you, but I couldn't help it. You are just so... special. You are special. You remember how on some mornings you'd wake up and find fluffy feathers all over your bed? That... that was me. I'd wait until you fell asleep, then I'd quietly wrap my wings around you, hold you close, and dream of our future together. Because I was too scared to approach you when you were awake. What if... What if you didn't like me? Please don't look so shocked. How could you leave your bedroom window open and then not expect me to enter? That's... that's practically inviting me in, darling! I followed you here every day. I saw how kind you were to strangers, and how helping someone filled you with happiness. I saw how gentle your hands were, and with what simple, glowing sincerity your eyes shine. Even now... I'm sorry it had to be so spur of the moment, but I... I would love nothing more than to be your girlfriend. That's the terms you humans use, isn't it? 
I want to cuddle you when you're awake too, you know? I guess what I'm asking you is... Will you be my valentine this year? You don't have to answer immediately. I know this is a lot to take in, but it's the truth. I swear on Cupid and Venus on love itself, which I'm supposed to protect and spread in this world. I've been alone for so long. It hurts me sometimes. Seeing other couples holding hands and leaning into each other. Couples I've helped get together. And wondering if I'll ever be able to have that. I won't compel you, my love. I'll, I'll somehow force myself to leave you alone. If you really want me to. But... I wish you give me a chance. I know you're lonely too. I could never mistake that feeling you try so hard to hide. To bury. I don't want to spend any more Valentine's Days alone. And I don't want that for you either. Ever again. So... What do you say? It's alright. My sister means every word. We'll lovingly welcome you into our family, but we don't want to force you. You're too sweet for that. You still look so confused. Please say something. Oh, oh, oh. You, you're hugging me. <laughs> this. This isn't a dream. You feel much too real. And warm. This is real. Right? <laughs> oh, my sweet, sweet boy. My precious little kitten. I love you. I love you with all my heart. You guys! I'm so happy for you two. Come on, get in here. Don't make this weird, Violet. He's mine. You're on thin ice as it is. So what? I can't even hug my two favorite people in the world now? You've known him for less than 20 minutes. Yeah, well, he... He has known you exist for less than two minutes, and he still agreed to be your valentine. Stop ruining this. Just stop talking entirely. Hmm. I can't wait to take you flying with me, sweetheart. We live in a palace hidden above the clouds, with the most wonderful garden ever. You'll love it there. Yeah, just one last question before I leave you two lovebirds alone. Say, you wouldn't by chance happen to have any single friends who look like you, now would you? <laughs>